I am delighted to be here with American Olympian Ben Knut's TT race bike of choice for the 2019 season. This stunning Trek Factory Racing Red speed concept. Okay, first up we're going to talk about this frame set. Now, the speed concept is just an incredible piece of engineering. It was designed in 2010, it's only really had one makeover since then in 2013 and is still at the cutting edge of technology largely because of its aerodynamic capabilities, but mostly due to the integration and versatility that it brings for athletes as well. So talking about that frame, Ben is running a size medium. So on the note of the versatility of the speed concept, let's move on to the front end, because the Trek speed concept can be set up in a multitude of different positions depending on your fit requirements. So what Ben's got on this bike is what they call the long stem with a medium rise, and you can see that here. There's any number of different combinations you can have with short, medium or long, high rise, low rise, so really it's got every position covered and it's super easy for mechanics to change out. Looking at the handlebars and front end in particular, the first thing that catches my eye on this bike is the fact that the base bar on the Speed Concept on Ben's bike is colour matched to the rest of the frame colour, which is really unique. You don't see that very often on the Pro's bike, so I really love that. It's not just your standard black or maybe white that you get on lots of handlebar setups. So that's the base bar, and then moving up to the aero bars, all that we've got in here is a very subtle riser plate that Ben is using, really aggressive and low position that he's able to hold. What he does have is a subtle riser. You can see that there, it brings his forearms just up a little bit. A lot of athletes like that because it takes the pressure off of their front end and stops them slipping forward on their bars a lot of the time. Moving back, we can see his bike computer tucked in there nice and simply for him to get all his data when he's racing and in his aero position. Moving further back, we've got the standard Bontrager water bottle cage, which is fixed in with a really simple add-on that Bontrager provide, allows you to clamp on that bottle cage, which means you can run a totally normal water bottle that you can just pull out whenever you're in the aero position. Keeps everything nice and clean and easy to use when you're racing. Finally, at the front end, you've got the junction box for the gearing tucked in really nicely. You see that on a lot of the treks. It sits there really perfectly out of the wind, nice and clean. Now then, moving further back on the bike, we can have a look at the group set on Ben's bike. I really like this because I've not seen a lot of them yet. This is the SRAM 1x Axis group set. Ben has opted for the 1x version. You can have a double chainring if you wish with a front derailleur. As you can see, no front derailleur on Ben's bike, and that front chainring is a 50 tooth. Attached to that front chainring is a 165mm crank, standard Shimano pedals on there. And inside that crank is the built-in quark power meter for all the data that Ben needs when he's racing. At the back we've got a 12 speed 1030 cassette and the solitary derailleur on the bike is here. Right, now on to the wheel set on Ben's bike. And I'm quite excited by this wheel set because, well, I haven't really seen this on a Trek setup before. Partly because that front wheel is a really new setup that a lot of the athletes are now opting for. That's the Bontager Eolius XXX6, and that's 60mm front depth, which is a really versatile front wheel depth. It's not too deep, but by all accounts, and talking to Ben himself, they find that that's a really, really good option for the front wheel, just in case it's a little bit windy, but it still provides huge amount of aerodynamics for the athletes when they're racing. Now moving on to the back of the bike, we've got a disc wheel here you can see and usually Trek athletes have got a bunch of your head collaborated disc wheel that they use but not this season. The Trek Factory Racing team athletes are using a Zip Sub 9 disc but badged up Trek Factory Racing and that's because now that they've moved to the SRAM 12 speed group set very few discs are able to accommodate a wide enough cassette body for that 12 speed. The zip, with the zip discs rather can, so at the moment that is the wheel they're using. Now, the tyres that are running on this rather cool wheel set are tubular, which I always like to see because a lot of the time now athletes are running clincher, but I'm quite old school and love to see tubulars on a bike. These are 25mm Bontrager R4s. Now coming back to the integration I talked a little bit at the beginning of this video, the brakes on the Speed Concept are, in my opinion, the best example of this bike's integration because you can't really see them. The rear one is hidden away here, just tucked in behind the crankset, and if you can see down here, another little add-on that the Speed Concept comes with is what they call the Speed Fin. So in there is your rear brake, almost completely hidden from the wind, as is the front brake, which is tucked in into the fork setup itself. So so nothing being presented to the wind like a lot of other brakes and certainly like disc brakes too that still catch the wind more than this setup does. And a further integration that the Trek Speed Concept brings is for hydration and storage. 
The Trek add-on bento box up here means the Ben can have gels and any other food that he needs during the race. Really easy for athletes to get into when they're racing. And then the draft box at the back here is another really cool thing that means you've got no extra saddlebags or tubes or tires taped onto the bike that you might need to carry spares with. You can pop anything you want in there on race day. However, Ben, I asked, he isn't going to be carrying anything on race day. He's got stands inside his tires and if there's a puncture, which hopefully there certainly won't be, that's what he's using as a precaution. So finally, we'll talk about seat post and saddle on Ben's bike. The seat post is the standard that comes with the speed concept. The saddle is a Bontager Hilo Pro, but an addition that Ben has made to it is grip tape up here which just stops him from slipping forward when he's on the aero position. Quite like to see those little intricacies on the pro bikes. And finally to finish the bike off is the rear hydration that Ben's running. Standard Bontager setup here. That's his second water bottle that he can use when he's racing. I've loved having a look at Ben's trek today. I'm a huge fan of this bright red. Definitely not going to miss Ben out there on the race course. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please hit that thumb up like button if that's the case. Don't forget to click on the globe and subscribe to get all of our other videos. And if you want to see a video about another pro bike that we've done, you can find that here. It wasn't moving! <laughs> <laughs>